Okay, it took a little bit of trial and error, which is very typical for any sort of joinery cutting jig um, on that lamination. But I wanted to basically cut a bridle joint in this 45 degree angle on the end of my bent lamb uh, U-shaped curve. And I probably only have one to two square inches of reference face remaining. So I needed to create a jig that would allow me to safely pass my piece vertically over the saw and be able to flip it from side to side to get that centered bridle cut. Um, so what I ended up with something that looks like this, and I had to make two mirrored versions so that way I'd be able to cut both sides. But you can see that my bent lamb piece fits snugly in there. I can either double stick tape that, uh, or I could press hold it while I'm running it over the table saw. Um, I have a piece of MDF to back up my cut to make sure that no fibers get torn out. Uh, I also have like a miniature sled that the entire thing is running on, uh, just because since I experienced some spring back with this particular curve, uh, the two ends don't meet perfectly parallel on the table bed. Uh, so this uh, quarter inch MDF miniature sled just raises it just enough that I don't get any interference from the opposing side of the piece. Uh, and then what happens is I'll cut it both ways in this configuration. So on the inside and outside of the curve. Uh, and then when I'm ready to make the second centering cut for my bridle joint, I'll use this. Uh, mirrored version of the jig and I'll run it over in the same configuration so that way I should be taking off an equal amount of material from both sides of my cut uh, and I can back up my cut this little scrap piece of MDF I created while making this jig so it's very specific to this particular component these jigs aren't very universal uh, so I tried not to spend too much time and effort, but I did probably spend, I would estimate at least a half hour building these and thinking about them, um, which is which is not unusual at all. Uh, and then I quickly uh, nail gunned and double stick them, double stick tape them together, uh, and then also just put some wax on the outside so that it runs smoothly through the table saw. Uh, so maybe it won't make too much sense uh, until you actually see how the joinery comes out. But basically, I'm trying to take advantage of what little reference face I have to sort of maximize that reference face uh, without spending too, too much time building a specific jig for my lamination. So now that I've cut out the negative part of my bridle joint, I'm ready to start um, fitting the positive point to it. So I've set up my dado stack with a zero clearance sacrificial fence, uh, and I've dialed in the height of the dado stack. So then taking off just enough material from both sides on this scrap piece so that it fits comfortably into my bridle joint. I haven't quite dialed in the shoulder length just yet, but I'm going to first start off cutting my, my bridle joint and then uh, sneak up to my final shoulder length. Uh, so I'll just be running these pieces. Uh, because they have almost no reference face, I actually get much more reference face from that 45 degree end, which is why I'll be using that pressed into my sacrificial fence as my reference face.
Okay, so after I did that initial uh, depth on my dado stack, uh, I bumped over my fence to cut the final width of my shoulder uh, and used a test piece to make sure that I was hitting the, like, the correct final depth of that shoulder. Uh, so now I should be able to just run these all through on the same setup and I should be finished with my bridal joinery. I've assembled all of my bridal joint joinery, uh, and you can see it creates a sort of continuously bent form. Uh, I thought that the bendy ply would be a nice kind of stripey accent and also a way for me to make a thick lamination very quickly and efficiently, uh, but it turns out that the particular orientation of this bendy ply uh, was really annoying to work with when I was fitting those bridal joints, so I wouldn't really recommend it although the, the aesthetic effect is very interesting. Uh, but you can see I still got plenty of flex that bent lamination gives me when the, the laminations are thin enough. Uh, but because of those bridal joints, I have a nice strong connection between the four pieces.